as you can see, we're not going to be doing too much work outside today. But there's still plenty to do. Today, we're using a cheap electronic stud finder to find studs. Not this one. The ones in the wall. This is the after work garage. Finding studs is important whenever you want to anchor into something solid behind the wall, generally when you're hanging something heavy. In this case, I want to mount a TV here. So we're going to have to find the studs. Now studs are basically just two by fours that make up the framing of the wall. And they sit vertically, generally 16 inches apart. And the way a stud finder works, there's many, but these electronic ones either use magnets to detect the nails in the studs, but most modern ones, even inexpensive ones, uh, detect density changes in the wall. So what they do is they send out a little signal and then they measure the reflection of the signal back. And when it's just sheetrock there, they get some signal back, but when you move over a stud, you get a lot more signal reflected back. That's how it knows there's a stud there. Now, when you see people using these, it looks super simple. So you'll turn on the TV and there'll be guys saying, oh, look, there's a stud right there, there's a stud right there. They are simple to use, but it's all in how you set them up. And the cheaper the unit, the more touchy they can be. Basically, there's one dial. As you can see right here, it says wood. We'll, we're looking for wood studs. We'll turn it and click it on. And as we turn the wheel down, we're increasing the sensitivity. Now, this is the trick to finding studs is putting this against the wall and increasing that until it just barely doesn't beep. See, if I hold it here and increase it all the way, it beeps and tells me there's a stud. There's obviously no stud there. But if I have it like this and wave my hand in front of it, it's detecting the density difference. And what you want is to set it so that when it's against the wall, you don't get anything. But when you move over a stud, which is gonna have more mass behind the sheetrock, you're gonna get a signal. So, let's try it. Let's stick it here, and we're gonna increase the sensitivity until we just get a beep. Now, it's beeping everywhere, so that's not helpful. So we're gonna decrease it a little bit, and there it's just barely off. I wanna see if we can find any studs. So there's nothing right now. So maybe it's a little too, it's not sensitive enough. So I'm crank it up just a little bit. And this again is where it gets very touchy. It can even be so much that if you press hard, you'll get a signal, and if you don't press hard at all, you won't. So that can be misleading. So you wanna keep kind of a constant amount of pressure moving it across. And so there might be a stud there, we'll see here. I'm gonna turn this up just a little itty bitty bit. So you just gotta mess with it until you find the range where it's not detecting anything for most of the wall. And when you come across areas where there's a stud, you'll get a beep. So moving across very slowly, we can see the edge of a stud here. So I'm gonna put a mark there and then it's on. So we have a stud somewhere in this area here. And then we're gonna keep going and we're gonna expect another one in about 16 inches. So we see one it's on here. And then it goes off. So we have a stud somewhere in this area right there. Which is interesting, because to me that doesn't look like 12, 16 inches. So now that we have a general idea where two of these studs might be, I'm gonna go down a little lower, and then we can draw a line and find, better delineate where the stud is. So what we have 
You can even see the width of this here and here and here and here is one stud here and one stud here. And those are going to be the two I'm going to hang my TV on. So getting the ruler out, it looks like these studs are actually 12 inches apart on center. Now on center means the center of the stud is going to be 12 inches from the center of the next stud. This isn't the most common setup. As I mentioned earlier, 16 inches is generally considered to be standard. But given that this is an apartment, um, they may have done something differently. I, I don't know. 12 inches is not unheard of, but it's not something that I would have expected, especially for a video. To confirm, we're going to drill a little hole and hope we hit some wood. And indeed, we have wood shavings. This is a good sign. So there you have it. Not a real difficult procedure, but one that if you don't know what to expect can be really frustrating. The key is in setting the sensitivity wheel just on the edge of beeping. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time on the After Work Garage.